Let's do okay. drinking game. Um, Let's do this. All right. Here we go. All right. First, uh, or the only thing I really got in geeky news. So apparently, um, Rotten Tomatoes has decided to change their score. This could be an interesting topic here. Um, so Rotten Tomatoes is, uh, has implemented a huge change by adding the popcorn meter and the verified hot badge. The review ag- ag- aggregator website has become a go-to resource for assessing the critical reception to movies and television shows since its inception in 1998. The site compl- compiles official critics' reviews into a single percentage-based score to determine if a mo- movie is fresh, which means it's 60% or above, or rotten, which is 60% or below, on the tomato meter. Um, with certain titles that match specific criteria and and maintain a score above 75% being deemed as certified fresh. However, the audience score has also become a bigger part of the Rotten Tomatoes brand because its score is based on user reviews. It is intended to reflect what the general public thinks of the title in question, though the score has, this is their words, not mine, the score has in the past been subject to review bombing, generally for p- political and motivated reasons, especially for franchise titles with diverse casts such as Captain Marvel and Disney the Acolyte. Um, yeah, I, I don't totally agree with that, but we'll keep going. To combat this, Rotten Tomatoes has implemented a review verification system to confirm that reviewers have purchased tickets for movies being reviewed through Fandango. Okay. Um, so, um, <laughs> I do use Rotten Tomatoes quite a bit. Um, I could care less what the critics think. Um, yeah. makes no difference to me. I want to see what the audiences think. Um, critics reviews just, yeah, usually I don't agree with them to begin with. Uh, now to say that, that it has been used in the past for quote unquote review bombing. Mm -hmm. Uh, Is that true? I don't know. Maybe possibly. Is it for political reasons? I don't know. Possibly Mm -hmm. Uh, it could be, but the way they're talking here. So the only people that can review it is people who buy tickets through Fandango. Um, How many people buy tickets through Fandango? That's what uh, I, I don't. I don't either. Yeah. Um, I actually buy my tickets straight through. Well, our our local movie theater is Marcus. Yeah. Or we can go to the mom and pop theater down the street. But either yep. way, I'll buy the tickets directly from the theater or the theater mm-hmm. app. Yep. You know? Mike, I'm so sorry. Keep talking. There's some kind of weird noise happening right outside my home. Oh. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Steven has aliens showing up at his house, apparently. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, my thinking is, uh, one, how many people actually purchase tickets through Fandango? Uh, cause I haven't used Fandango in years. I, I really would like to know that. So anyone watching, if you use Fand- Fandango, d- jump into the chat and tell me, cause I, I want to know. Um, cause that, that just, that just leaves it open to only people, those who, Use Fandango, and I don't think that's correct either. I don't think that's the right way to do this. Um, let's see. Uh, Sam says, I think the accusation of review bombing is political. Um, yeah, I, I think that's a true statement. I agree with that. Uh, that That is definitely a true statement. Um, I, I like to stay away from political topics if I can from, from you know, from the show. I, I don't want to get into that kind of thing. But with this being Fandango based, who's to say that the movie studios themselves can't budget in a million dollars and buy a million tickets through Fandango and then up their own audience score? You know, Um, I I don't agree with that either. So, right. 
it's it's going to be a, a point now. I, you know, it was questionable whether Rotten Tomatoes was trust trustworthy to begin with. Yeah. I think it makes it even less trustworthy. Mm -hmm. And so nobody for anybody said not for me. Yep, he doesn't buy through Fandango. And let's see. Oh, go to the movies, buy a ticket. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I actually buy through our local theater's app. Uh, Marcus has their own app. So yep. I just buy the tickets through their app, you know. I do Regal and Regal through, their, through right. the app. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. Yeah, and, yeah. that seems like it's going to even make it even weirder, so... Oh, Sam says he's never bought tickets online. Oh, he, he does it old school. <laughs> he's he's never paid the extra fifty cents to a dollar fifty in fees uh, yeah. to do it online. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I've become uh, accustomed to the convenience of going. Oh, I get my seats. Yeah, I want those right there. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I mean, they've also made it so it's more. I don't know. Difficult to go get them in person. Well, that, but it's also better to buy them online. When you her mic's not on. Your seats. I hear her through through your echo. Oh, really? Yep. That's weird. Turn me out. Uh, so I I would agree. I, I would. Yeah, it just seems weird. I mean. I here here I, I think I agree with uh Sam that even the, I think the accusation of review bombing is political. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Oh, Corey said the same thing. He said he goes straight to the theater to buy tickets. Really? Wow. Yeah. I'm shocked that some people are still doing that. <laughs> right. I don't know. Is it's it just difficult nowadays, at least at my theater, because you know, they used to always have somebody sitting there in the booth, and now it's like mm -hmm. there's never anyone there in the booth. You know, well, e even with my tickets online, I have to go to the front desk. If there's if there's someone who's not there to scan your ticket, you have to go to the front desk to scan it in, and there's always people there. So, I hear uh, you, Megan, but Stephen can't. Of course, I'm hearing you through my headphones. Yeah, uh, we got something going on with Megan's microphone. I don't know what's going on. Um, uh, unmute yourself and see if. Okay. Nope. Mm -mm. No, I don't know what's mm -mm. going on, Megan. So, anyway, uh, let's see. Sam says, "Smart not to be political. You're already smarter than most people in Hollywood." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I appreciate the uh, the comment. You know oh what? There gosh. there are viewers on both sides of the political scale, and I'd rather just stay out of that. I mean, I have my views, but we'll leave them well, off the show. I think for me, it's. I mean, we should be okay to like you and I. We disagree on stuff, and we sure. we still come together. We have a conversation about it, and. And and then we just go on living our lives kind of a thing. I think I, I think even with the Acolyte, I don't think it was review bombing. It was just a bad show. It was bad. It was bad. I mean, that's the I mean, there's a reason they decided to cancel the Acolyte already, even though the last episode was what, two months ago, maybe. Right. Right. So well, it, it, they're not going to cancel a show because of Rotten Tomatoes. I'm sorry. They're going to cancel the show on actual viewer numbers. Yeah. And they they had stated that the viewer numbers had went down. So episode one, they had pretty high numbers. I don't know the exact numbers. I don't remember. them. But then mm -hmm. by the finale, the numbers had d diminished so much that they're like, well, there's no sense in, in keeping the show going. You know, I, I it had nothing to do with Rotten Tomatoes. Not a thing. You know, if anyone thinks that Rotten Tomatoes is influencing whether a show stays on the air or not, I, I think you're crazy because I, I don't think it's I don't think it's a thing. I really do don't. You, do you think that they're looking at it from the point of view that if the, if something gets bad reviews, then therefore it's negative marketing. So people aren't going to watch it because of the bad reviews. Yeah, that's exactly what I think it is. And I mean, but, that's possible. Yeah, sure. You know, but, but word of mouth. But 
Yeah, it's just like word of mouth kind of thing, and people are just sharing their opinions on it. So what does it matter? It's not like people are going out of their way to say something is terrible. Well, I don't know. I don't, uh, some okay. people will. Some people, some people will. will. I think because they just want the clicks or the views, and I'm going to be more – because we were kind of joking about this earlier before the show to a certain degree about if we should do a show or not because we're like, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. And they were like, well, right. but realistically – if we have a good argument, we're not just poo-pooing on something just for the clicks or the views or rants or going crazy. Yeah. Like Critical Drinker and Nerdrotic got a lot of static about Acolyte. But they were present they weren't just poo-pooing on it. They were giving good argumentation about it. And I think that's the issue. So So what did Sam say here? Um, I would actually like a new sci-fi TV show. Oh, you mean like a new IP, something new, a, a new? Oh, well, I, you know, I agree. I agree. I uh, let me see if I can bring something up for you. Um, I don't know if I can do it or not. I saw an interview real quick. It was just a short, so a YouTube short on George Lucas, who yes. was saying something about the shows. Let me see if I can pull it up. You uh, give me just a second um, um, because it Hollywood, speaks to it. Hollywood has no. No ideas. Yeah, that that's exactly it. That's exactly the, the whole thing. All, all Hollywood does is they they make remakes and 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 uh, sequels. That's it. No yep. new ideas. Yeah, let me see if I can get to it. Oh man, 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 man. I watched it like two or three times because then I was imagining you doing the voice doing it, just saying, <laughs> kind of a thing. Well, I gotta admit, my my voice is uh, my imitation of george lucas is an imitation of uh jason swank from rebel force radios <laughs> george lucas <laughs> yeah okay I, I'm, I'm, gonna... I'm trying to do the best of his um nobody for anybody says disney killed star star wars um yeah, yeah i kind of agree with that unfortunately. Uh, uh, unfortunately yes okay so i'm going to uh share this let's see if this works okay everybody we're going to see if this works it's going to be hard to see but hopefully you can hear it Oh no, George is working um, out his eye. Streaming probably more than features, but features are the same thing. Nobody knows what to do. The stories they're telling are just old movies. Let's let's do a sequel. Let's do a another version of this movie. Let's nobody's there's no and it's not just in movies, but in almost everything. There's no original thinking. So I'll just leave it at that. That's about as much as my wood can handle. <laughs> I totally agree with George there. He's right. Um, there are no new ideas. Disney is just bringing back stuff that they do. I mean, let's let's look at what they're they're doing right now. Um, we got Snow White getting ready to come out. That's that's just a rehash. Uh, you know, it's a a live action remake of the the cartoon that's mm -hmm. already getting. It's already up. DOA. Oh yeah, it's dead. It's dead. It's torn <laughs> uh, I have no interest in that film whatsoever. Um, they're going to do a prequel to Lion King, um, which is yeah. Be, I I saw the latest unquote, trailer. Action. I saw the latest trailer for Romulus, and I didn't I didn't like the direction they're going. Wait a minute, um, you just said Romulus. Alien Romulus. Oh, well, we're going to talk about Romulus here in just a couple of minutes. I know. I'm so excited. Oh, okay. But okay. the trailer, the trailer for the Mufasa movie has a different. See, take. I think you confused Romulus and Mufasa. No, no. Before I saw Romulus, I saw oh, the new trailer. Okay, okay. that's what okay. I was saying. Sorry. All right. Sorry. So, I miss. Yeah. I completely misunderstood you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, anyway. um, so the, uh, I. I don't like the direction they're taking the Mufasa story. It's kind of like what they did with Maleficent. And when they started doing all the villains in here, let's give them a, a kind of a story, you know, oh, they're actually really good, you know, kind of a thing or something. I don't know. It's it's just a weird it, – it's just weird. What's Sam saying? So Sam says, I was looking forward to new Battlestar um, gallery, and then I realized that I really want is a new IP. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I was looking forward to new Battlestar – also but i think i think that's in development hell i don't think we're ever going to see a new Battlestar, um because i love the Battlestar franchise in fact uh when we do our geek dar <laughs> oh we're still in news aren't we <laughs> you're still in news we gotta keep going that's all right yeah uh when i do my geek dar you'll see that i, I 
do love Battlestar, but um, I agree with you totally. It's it's time for something new. We we need to get some new stuff in here. Um, but yeah, I think I think uh, Hollywood is completely out of ideas. What's Levy Mc, Levy McGarden? Did I say it right? Yeah. Okay. That's mine. Uh, oh. That's my Twitch. Oh, <laughs> this is Megan chiming in. I only since her microphone's not coming through for some weird reason. I only want to see the Lion King prequel because Keith David is in it. <laughs> That's funny. When I first read that real quickly, I thought it said King David. King David is in the Lion King prequel? What? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Disney. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, here, let me let me do here's here's what Angie says. Companies are just plagiarizing themselves because they don't know how to write anything anymore. And that's what Lucas goes on to say. He he makes that content that just the writers just aren't doing anything new. So now Sam said, I was really enjoying the show Love, Death and Robots. Every episode is something new. I have not seen I it. Seen so hmm. no so worries, I might have Sam. to check that out. Using speech to text. We, we're, it's all good. We're tracking. <laughs> no problem, man. No problem. All right. Well, we should probably get off this topic. This is a good topic, though. I, it's I, a good topic. I, yeah, I've enjoyed this. Um, something to think about in the future. Uh, you know, um, but yeah, put in the chat whether you guys uh, you like what, what Rotten Tomatoes is doing or what or you don't like it. And what do you think? What do you think they should do? I, you know, no. I don't know. I, I don't care for it. I don't trust it. But. I think Rotten Tomatoes is just becoming less and less trustworthy every day. Rotten who? <laughs> right. Rotten.